Hello guys, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of ServiceNow Basics, today we are discussing display values. So let's go back to our instance. This is the instance. Open the incident form. So I hope you remember about reference fields. So you see caller, assignment group, assigned to, service, service offering, all these are reference fields. So here a table is referenced. And we can select the value from the table. Click on it. Let's give some sort of description. Let's save then. So here in caller we are seeing Abraham Lincoln. This is the display value of the record. But when we go and check in the database, you will not see Abraham Lincoln, but you will see the sys ID of this record from the user table. So let's say uh, let's go to user table. This is the Abraham Lincoln. Let's open a Abraham Lincoln record. This is the sys ID. So when we query this incident table and we try to fetch the value of caller, we will not see Abraham Lincoln, but we will see the sys ID of this Abraham Lincoln record from the user table. Let me show you this. Okay. So this is my background script. I am querying this same incident. You see, INC 1409. Same incident, and I am printing the value of caller ID. Click on Run script. We are getting a sys ID. That is the sys ID of Abraham Lincoln record. The same one, right? A8 ending with 3A. A8 ending with 3A. Okay. So this is what is happening at the back end. But in the front end, it is upon the developer or the administrator to select the display value. What display value should come whenever the user select a record? So So here in the caller field we are referencing to user table and the display value is Abraham Lincoln that is the total name okay so if i select able tutor able tutor will come here so we can change this display value okay so how to change this display value let's go to the user table open user table let's go to the dictionary values of this table So here you see one option display okay display value for reference field so here the administrator can define any of the field as a display value let's say i want to change the display value to city okay so just go here set it to true so you see the message setting display value city to true and changing the display value of name to none okay name to false it means this means that in the whole table there will be only one display value previously it was name that's why we are seeing name here in the incident okay but we have changed it to city so now if we reload this there is no value here because abraham lincoln has no value in the city let's give some city here save it now if we reload so now you see the name of the city is coming here because the display value is city okay let's select uh, able tutor so as soon as we selected able tutor you see the name of the city here because yes the city is there so that's what the city is coming here so let's go back to the dictionary again of the user table so here only city is true okay we can change it to any value whatever you want based on your business requirement but if you turn off all the values let's say turn off in that case service now has a automatic setting which will look for name okay because name is the most appropriate one so we have not selected deliberately any display value so now in that case if we reload this let's see what will come you see again the name is coming because because no display value is selected in the user table if they want they can do it if they do not then service now will automatically go for name okay and remember there will always be only one display value if you select a new one the previous one will be automatically turned to false so i think now you get it whenever you create a new field for a table you understand the purpose of display checkbox
so this is it for display value friends i hope you understand it i will see you in next video till then take care and please subscribe to the channel